It's true, it's just been looked like, like France was always lagging behind. Uh, truth is, there is a change in sentiment. There is a change in business sentiment. And clearly, I'm not saying that confidence is back, but at least the government has taken some uh, business-oriented uh, reforms and uh, is looking much more business-friendly. Now, as always, unfortunately, it's all about politics, and uh, uh, we, it looks like we are a little bit... Um, we, we fear that these uh, business-oriented measures might be challenged because of political infighting in the Socialist French Party in anticipation of the uh, uh, 2017 uh, presidential election, whose race uh, has already started in France. Uh, now, where's the economy? I mean, last year it was nearly a flat growth. Uh, this year it's going to be anywhere between 1%, 1.5%, something like that. Well, nothing to brag about. The thing is that it's more a question of, uh, when I say the, the tide is changing, it's more a question of change of feeling, of mindsets, but not really, it does not show right now in the figures. I mean, if you look, for instance, unemployment is still rising, unfortunately. And when we come to see about the real estate market, the, the most striking feature of the French market is that kind of severe and intense uncoupling between the investment market, which is completely buoyant, buoyant and the uh, rental market, which is really suffering still. Uh, and you see that. For instance, I mean, the, uh, there's so much capital inflows coming to, to Paris, to a Paris region that yields are still compressing. Today, the, uh, the prime yield, I mean, in Paris, Paris CBD would be around 3, uh, 375. So that's, that's real, a, real, um, a real change. It's, I guess it would be an all-time low for that kind of yield. On the, and uh, you look at last year, I guess investment volumes were in the range of 23 billion euros in commercial real estate in France. That is the largest figure since the financial crisis. On the other hand, on the rental market, I mean, take-up was, I guess, below the 10-year average last year. I mean, if you only look at the, uh, the first quarter this year of 2015, you will see that the investment market is up 10% and the uh, take-up is down something like 25%. So really that kind of... Uh, um, Desynchronization between these two markets and the fact that it means that you have to be very picky about the kind of investment you make. I mean, you can make, uh, you can turn a profit, hopefully, and you can uh, uh, make good investment, but you have to be very picky and not only play, I would say, the, uh, uh, the macro uh, economic trend. Because, yes, the yields are down, which means that when the interest rates will, uh, will rise in the future, you may be caught off guard. At the same time, there might be, uh, I, mean, the, I mean, I do not see any room for additional uh, yield compression in France, but still, of course, there is room, hopefully, for rental growth. But this will be linked to the economic uh, outlook. One thing you must be aware of is the uh, Grand Paris, or the Greater Paris project, which is really now uh, coming to, to, to fruition, I would say, with uh, a complete uh, overall of the uh, transport, transportation, public transportation system around Paris, which will, of course, offer also a lot of opportunities to invest in some, let's say, more peripheric uh, localization around Paris, location around Paris.